It's almost the tank engine was feeling depressed. Ever since his accident near Napford Junction, the fat controller had sent him to Crovensgate Works for a rebuild, but it would take a very long time, and he felt very lonely indeed. Gordon and Henry would pass by with their trains, whistling to him to say hello, but unfortunately, Thomas had no seen to answer. Carlo and all Renes would sometimes visit Thomas to keep him company, but recently they haven't been able to, due to the increasing workload on their railway. Just then, the yard manager arrived. Now, Thomas, we're almost done with your rebuild. Now, I want to know, what livery of the Northwestern Railway do you want to be painted in? Hmm, maybe the express blue livery like Gordon has, and with black wheels like James. Alright then. And the yard manager went away. Hmm, Northwestern Railway express blue with black wheels. Now that's a run for Gordon and James's money. Um, excuse me. Uh, yes, Thomas. Uh, why are my wheels blue? I thought I said I wanted them to be black. Yes, well, we're running a bit low on black paint recently. A new shipment of that is coming in a week or so, or a month. Well, that aside, thank you for letting me get this rebuilt. It means a lot to me to get back on my own steam again. Well, I must get going. Goodbye. Goodbye, Thomas. Cylinders nest, Thomas. It's great to see you again. Yes, indeed, Percy. It's been a while, hasn't it? I can't wait to get back working on the branch line with you and Toby, but uh, who's that? I don't think I remember seeing him before. Is he a new engine? Oh, you mean Duck? He came here not long ago. He helped me in the yard, and now he's the station pilot. So the fat controller didn't need me here, so he relocated me to the Farquhar branch. So, if you can relocate to Farquhar, then what are you doing here? Oh well, the fat controller told me to send some trucks down here, and I just decided to shunt them into the siding myself. Ah, I see. Well, I'm going to do the sheds for a rest, but I'll probably meet that Doug fellow, so I'll probably have a chat with him. Anyways, I'm off. Goodbye, Percy. See you later. I'm Thomas. What's your name? Oh, hello Thomas. I'm Doug. It's nice to meet you. Percy told me all about you. Ah, I see. Well, what's been happening in the yard? I haven't been here in a while, actually. Well, me and Percy decided to teach the big engine the lesson until the fat controller came and skilled it. Was. Come on, Thomas. The fat controller wants us at Timber's shares for an important announcement. Oh, it looks like I have to go. Well, goodbye, Duck. It was nice meeting you. You too. Later that day, the fat controller put all of his engines on the ship and made an important announcement. 
James, Thomas, Percy, Henry, Gordon, and Doug were there, along with Diesel, who, to be honest, wanted to make a good impression on the engines, and Edward had brought the fat controller. Engines, I've called you all here because I have an important announcement to make. A special train from the mainland is coming to Sodor with the Railway Society. Their engine is City of Truro, a celebrity engine also from the mainland, and they're coming here to take pictures of you engines. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be at NAP for filling out the paperwork for the special train. Come on, Edward. The engines were excited, but Percy was confused. Um, Thomas, what is a celebrity? Well, Percy, a celebrity is an engine or person who's been in books, magazines, TV shows, and, well, basically any media who's very famous and called a celebrity. Well, you two, whoever this celebrity engine is, I hope he's not stuck up in a smoke box like some engines are. Oh, you twat, I can hear you now. I'm not deaf. I'll be damned. I thought the back controller was joking that the city of Chodo was coming to the island of Sodor. But here she is in the flesh, I guess. Well, what are you waiting for, Duck? Shouldn't you talk to her? What do you mean? City of Chodo? Oh, she's so famous, and that was me. Ah, uh, rubbish. You're both rustiness from Swindon Works. I'm sure you two will work out. Look, here she comes now. I'll leave you two to talk. Um, excuse me. Can I talk? Of course, dear. You're one of us, I see. All Swindon fashion and Great Western. I tried to teach them our way. Even if most of them aren't from Swindon. But nevertheless, are you going to tell me how you think South Western? Well, I guess I would have to tell my story one more time. Good riddance. You two were chatting on so much last night, I could barely get a wink of sleep. Anyways, why is she so famous? She's just a common little tender engine like Edward and James. And besides, she had no doom. Never trust doomless engines, I say. They aren't respectable. She's famous. She was the first to go a hundred miles per hour. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll take you to the world. Thank <laughs> you. 
Duck, are you all right? No, it's Gordon. He thinks he's so important just because he pulls the express and the fastest engine so. Well, he does have an important job. And hey, when I'm finished shunting your trucks into the siding, why don't I tell you the time that Gordon fell into a ditch? <laughs> you should have seen him. Oh, yes, please. Now then, since I'm done, it's about time I told you about Gordon and the ditch. Well, it happened in- Wait a minute, that sounds like Gordon, and it looks like he's coming in really fast. seen gold on this determined to beat someone's record before. He'll break himself to pieces before reaching Baron Fellas. Now then, where was I? Oh yes, it happened in... <laughs> Steady on, Gordon. We're not running a race. We are dead. Top of my dome feels used. I probably need to go slower. But unfortunately, it was too late. Today on the viaduct, there was a teasing wind which blew large puffs of air at random. Oh no, you don't, said Gordon, but the wind had other ideas. The cold ran under his dome and lifted it off into the valley, into the waters below. On the way back, Gordon wanted his driver and fireman to look for his dome, but they both said, We'll, we'll never, never find, find it, it now. now. Gordon hoped that the sheds would be empty that night, but unfortunately for him, they weren't.